Hello and welcome along. In this video, we are going to go over the AI helper in Farming Simulator 22. I will go over all the features and demonstrate each one to you and how it can help you save a huge amount of time in the game, even if it <laughs> may not save you quite as much money as a result. Uh, we've got the class try on out here and I'm going to demonstrate the most basic feature of the AI helper here with this. And that, of course, is when you uh, have your combine sitting here in a field and you want to just get anything to work, press H and away the hired worker goes and just doing the job. Now, this is also accomplished via the hired workers menu. You can find this is the second option in the escape menu. And uh, you can see that we started off our hired worker here and it's moving along up here. Uh, we can cancel the current job we have up in here. So we can do that or uh, we can create job. In this case, we've got field work. Uh, we've got our target position and we've got uh, that. So you can actually set a piece of equipment to start at this point. And I'm going to demonstrate that at the moment with this tractor over here. So if we head over here to this Vultra Valmet, if you have a piece of equipment that will work a field, you can't access the hired worker menu by pressing H at this point. This is because it will immediately try and work where it is. So you have to go into the menu, uh, have your tractor selected, create job and go field work. And then you can set your start position. In this case, I'm gonna set it to the bottom corner of this field and the best way to get this to start right up to the field's edge is position your cursor right on the field edge once you've clicked once it will then ask you to select a direction so we're going to select going up the field and once you do that you just click start job and away it goes and you can see our vulture is heading off then when your tractor reaches the field it will get itself lined up unfold and start work saving you having to worry about going there and getting it to get started uh, it'll just get to the field and get the job going our third function of the hired worker is really useful if you need to get a tractor to a field or transport anything or anything like that so we're going to put this set of seeds onto our trailer like so uh, with the idea that we're going to, once we've harvested and uh, and all done, uh, we can then go and get ourselves set up to do some seeding. So we'll take that there. We'll strap this down. And then we want this tractor to head down to our field ready to get the field seeded later. So we take our hired worker. We select our tractor which is already selected. So we create job and then we're gonna select the go to function and we're gonna send it up to the side of the field up here, just along this top bit. So we select there, we select our destination and direction and away our tractor goes when we hit start job. And after a short period of time, our tractor turns up at the field and drives up. And there we go. Our seeds have safely arrived at their destination. Our next function is a function that I absolutely love. It helps you to cart from your fields. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our McCormick up here. And I'm just going to bring it on to the side. Now what you can do here is you can get this to transport from your field to any destination. So we're going to transport to the rail station just across the road here. Having a look on the map, uh, that is the grain, uh, grain West silo. So we go back to our hired menu. We select our tractor. And because we have a trailer on this, we have more options. So we've got the go to option, which we've just demonstrated. Uh, we've got the deliver option. Uh, which is the one we're going to be using now. Uh, and we've got to the load and deliver, which we're going to demonstrate in a minute. So uh, we want to take this to Grain West, Grain Silo West, uh, or Grain West Silo. Loading position, we are going to do just in front of us here on there. 
and we're going to set it to looping. So if you set it to looping, it will go there, it will tip and it will come back. If you set it to no looping, it will just go there and tip. So we're going to set it to looping and uh, we're going to start the job. And our tractor should just drive slightly forward and then wait until it gets a full trailer. And with a full tank in our combine, we can now just come up and empty into our trailer like so. And that should then give this a full trailer full to go and tip at the grain silo. And with the trailer filled, we'll move the combine out the way. And away our tractor goes to go and get it tipped. In the tractor comes to the silo. And lines itself up so that it can just tip our goods from the field. And yeah, saves us a lot of time and a lot of effort. And means that you can concentrate on just using your combine harvester. And not have to worry about stuff getting taken to your storage point or sell point. And with looping on, your tractor returns to where it started from ready to empty the combine again. Once you finish your field and you're ready to sell your crop, you can use the final function of the hired worker. And that is the load and deliver. So finally, create job, select load and deliver, select your loading station, uh, which in this case is, case is going to be grain west silo, uh, and select what you want to load. In this case, we've got a load of canola in there. And so we want this to go to the oil mill, which is slightly over the other side of the map. Again, we can set it to loop, so it will load and then go and drop off and then loop back. We start job, and away our tractor goes, and load up with the canola. Once it's loaded, off it goes to the oil mill. Once your hired worker reaches their destination, as before, they will come up to the tipping point, line themselves up, and tip your produce. At that point, you'll get the money in for your crop. Watch that money go up. Or you'd load into your production chain which is this is and produce your uh, and produce your end product so there we go that is an overview of the ai helper menu i hope that has been useful all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and I will see you next time. Goodbye.